We all know that France is the world's favorite tourist destination. Each year, France welcomes roughly 80 million tourists from other countries. But what if I told you that France also has all of the components that any foreign living person looks for in a retirement destination? France has a good climate, unspoiled countryside, top-notch culture, excellent healthcare, colorful traditions and history, and of course, the glitter and sophistication of Paris. So if you have already made up your mind to move to France for retirement, then stay with us to learn about the 10 of the best places in France to retire. Number 10. Centre Val de Rawar. This area is in the heart of France, magnificent and picturesque valleys illuminated by the rivers that have earned it a reputation as the birthplace of the French Renaissance. In addition to the region's tranquility and beauty, it is also home to a number of remarkable ancient towns and prestigious cities, which are equipped with all the conveniences of the contemporary world. In addition, the area is recognized for its illustrious higher educational institutes which provide courses in subjects as diverse as science, history, culture, fashion, and more. With its large agricultural land base, the region is a top choice for homesteading in France. From orchards, farms, and woodlands abound, giving rise to a rich diversity of fruits and vegetables. In general, the cost of living is low in this area, making it possible to live well on a little income in any of the main cities. Number 9. Bourgogne French Comate. This is a place where people's talents and abilities are encouraged to flourish on a daily basis in a healthy setting. The number of retirees from other countries have explored in the past five years. Almost 7,000 new retirees have moved to the area from inside the EU. Beyond this, the region is home to a number of picturesque villages, particularly in the Burgundy region, known for its historical vineyards and architectural spanning from Gothic to Art Deco. A single individual in this area of France may expect to spend about $1,500 per month on housing expenses alone, despite the fact that the average home price is lower than average here. Homes in the region's less frequent areas typically sell roughly for around $260,000. And number 8, we got Brittany. Brittany is an area in the northwest of France. The Atlantic Ocean is to the south and the English Channel to its north. Beaches, old cities, and small fishing villages draw tourists to the area, as does the opportunity to visit nearby islands. Rennes, being both the capital and economic center, plays a pivotal role in the area. It has all the conveniences of a modern city but still has some of the charm of smaller towns. Other than the capital, there are a number of cities and small villages along the shore, each with its own set of advantages and disadvantages. As compared to the rest of France, Brittany has a remarkably low cost of living, with an overall monthly average of just around $1,300. A lovely rural home in one of the tiny towns may be purchased for about $120,000 thousand dollars making it an affordable real estate investment options at number seven we've got Pays de la Bois. this area includes the bay of biscas and the beautiful atlantic coast all the way to the wild valley with a dotted with the rihanna sun's castles and the garden that have a breathtaking landscape the region maintains a high standard of living owning to the healthy mix of urban and rural areas the capital of this area is often regarded as a fantastic metropolitan brusting with cutting-edge entertainment option and historical building of attraction. In addition to its many tourist attractions, the Pays de la is well known for its white wine wine yards. As most retirees prefer rural areas, you'll have plenty of options for finding a new home if you decide to relocate here. According to the data collected by Wallet Hub, the average monthly cost in this location is around $1,600 and fifty dollars which is more than the national average of nine hundred and thirty dollars this is a well-liked vacation spot since it caters to a wide range of foreign visitors from history buffs to seafood lovers to wine and to those seeking the wilderness at number six we have got grand est 
The Grand Est is a part of the northeastern France that is run by the government and shares border with four other countries. The regional architectural, local traditions and cuisine and language all show strong Germanic and French influences. Strasbourg, the regional capital, was formerly the center of the European Parliament due to its location close to the German border and the fusion of German and French cultural element in its architecture. In this area, a monthly salary must be at least $1,780 to cover basic expenses. Beautiful scenery highlighted by its mountain range near the borders of Switzerland, Germany and Luxembourg. An overall ambience that creates a peaceful feel helps to offset the high expense of living. At number 5, we've got Rhone. Alps. The enormous area of Rhône Alps, which borders with Switzerland and Italy in the southeast, is home to a variety of landscapes, each more stunning than the last. Lyon, the region's capital, is renowned for both its cuisine and its fashion sector. There are several picturesque cities and mountain villages in this area. In addition to being a major entry point to the Alps, the area is renowned for its excellent mountain rearing and climbing and skiing. The average monthly cost of living for a single individual in this area is over $2,000, making it one of the most costly places to reside in France. At number 4, we've got Corsica. This is a French territory and an island in the Mediterranean Sea. It refers to the island of beauty. It's located around 170 kilometers from southern France. Its stunning scenery includes majestic peaks, wild trains, and picturesque high-altitude lakes, and un ending coastline and gorgeous vistas. Many well-to-do European retirees have second homes here since the island has long been a favored vacation destination. For these and other apparent reasons, the cost of living on this island is quite expensive, and real estate prices have grown by well over 200% throughout the previous 10 years. The current monthly cost of living in this French island area is around $1,800 in any case. The extra expense is more than justified by the region's high-end beaches, charming ambience, delicious Mediterranean cuisine, and a pleasant tropical weather. At number 3, we've got Nouvelle Aquitaine, located in the western and southwestern part of France. This area is the country's most populous administrative division. The region's large stretches of sand beach and famous resorts along the Atlantic coast, as well as its castles and towns, are also a major draw. The average monthly cost of living for a single individual in this part of France is $1,700. However, this varies widely according to where one lives. When you add up to the region's rich history, vibrant culture, beautiful landscapes, and thrilling outdoor pursuits, you'll see that it really is the very best of everything. At number two, we've got Occitanie. There is a fascinating area with dramatic scenery and spectacular, stunning, and abundant medieval buildings in the southwestern corner of France, along the Mediterranean coast and all the way down to its southern border with Spain. The cities and town in this area consistently score among the highest on the list of the finest places to retire in France. Most of the areas consist of wineries, countryside, and a quaint little towns. This is, after all, the most fertile wine area in all of France. The lovely river that flows through and the rest of the area all the way to the Spanish border is a major landmark in the city. Furthermore, there are many beautiful retirement communities along the shore in this area. The inexpensive cost of living, particularly in comparison to the neighboring French Riviera, is becoming an increasingly tempting factor for retirees. At number one, we got Proms Alps Côte d'Azur. Because of the region has some of the best climates in France, Proms is an excellent place to retire if you want a long, sunny day and beautiful skies all year. The area is known for its 300 sunny days and its mild year-round climate, which lasts from April to October. The temperature seldom drops below 40 degrees Fahrenheit throughout the winter. Because of the pleasant weather all year, you can participate in any of the many 
outdoor activities available in the area. If you're looking to retire somewhere with a large expat community, Proms is a great option because of its attractiveness. The area has drawn a sizable foreign population, including numerous people from the United States, Australia, and the United Kingdom. You can join a reading book, go to a wine tasting outing, or go on a hiking club outing. Just to name a few of the many Anglo social organizations available to you in this area. That's all for today's video. What region would you like the most? Leave a comment in the comments section below and if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified about our latest videos thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video and happy retiring